Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lindley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for April 9th to the 23rd. For April 9th to the 13th, this is what we're expecting on an amplified flow here with the ridge over the eastern Pacific and to the west. We also have a ridge down here from um, near the Alaska, the Aleutians. And we have a low or an upper low trough here in the east. Above normal heights still remain across this region, across uh, the North Atlantic. Now, um, later in the period, coming to the end of the period, we start seeing a more flatter flow, and this will result as this ridge builds in. Um, this, this ridge will give way to a trough in the west, and then it will deepen as it moves east early next week. And this will cause rain and high elevation snows along with below normal temperatures in the west. Now, we're going to look at that at the surface. Let's see if we can get this right here. Okay, we go to the 9th through the 13th. Here's, here's the system here. And um, one thing I want to tell you um, that sometimes this is where they get their heaviest snow is in April. And um, the reason because of that, I think, is because um, there's a lot more moisture available as it gets warmer, as you get moisture from the Gulf. But this is the GFS. And you can see here is snow across this region. And this is the cold air and precipitation will reach the northern and central plains by early to midweek. Now we're going to look at this at the satellite picture. This is sort of, oh, what happened? Oh, there it goes. Okay, this is a very dynamic system here. You see spin this invisible satellite picture. And uh, this will bring, this is the system now that we're experiencing pushing eastward. All right, so um, the cold air will move into the plains early to midweek. So here we go here, look at the system. And you can see this is our cold air here. I shouldn't have shown that map yet, I was ahead of myself. Um, cold air here, this will allow colder air to pour into the, into the west. And ahead of the trough, and associate a frontal boundary will interact with deep moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, and this will lead to moderate to heavy rain across portions of the eastern plains of Mississippi Valley next week. See, here's our area of heavy rain across this region. And the east will experience cool temperatures with showers over the weekend and then followed by warmer temperatures next week as the ridge moves eastward into the into the east states, into the eastern states. Now, what I want to show here, I got a little ahead of myself. This is a system that we're experiencing now. Uh, this is a very deep system, very dynamic system. And um, here's our frontal boundary causing a lot of uh, rain and um, thunderstorms, possible severe weather. And um, this system is forecast to uh, push eastward, causing the low to develop here off the coast and bring more heavy rainfall into the east and northeast. Okay, we're going to look now at the period for uh, April 14th to the 18th. And here, this is what the patterns forecast to look like. We still have our ridge here in the east Pacific, trough in the west, ridge in the east. So I have our positive height anomalies here, but not as strong as they have been. So for this forecast period, I'm calling for below normal temperatures here. And I'm calling for anomalies of 8 degrees or more would be possible. And again, the highest anomalies or the greater anomalies, like to say, will be across this area here. Above normal temperatures are forecast for this region with the anomalies of 2 to 6 degrees above normal for precipitation. No change from yesterday to the last few days. Still expecting above normal precipitation for, the, for most of the West. And the probability of occurrence is near 40%. Below normal precipitation forecast here. And probability of occurrence remains near 40%. Looking ahead to the period for April 19th to the 23rd. See very little overall change in the pattern. Still have a ridge trough above normal heights or zonal flow here in the east. Here's the European ensembles even shows a better ridge here in the west. 
region the east, still have strong positive anomalies now to the west of Greenland. So for this forecast period, calling for the low normal temperatures for this region, and I'm calling for anomalies for 8 degrees above normal, above normal uh, temperatures are forecast for this region here, probability of occurrence or the anomalies are forecast to be 4 to 6 degrees above normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence remains near 35%. Above normal precipitation forecast for this area, and the probability of occurrence remains near 40%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 9th to 23rd. Thanks for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather, and have a good day.